Hello everyone and welcome to Don't Be Bored. Today I'm joined by Martin, one of the publishing team of the game Arctic Roll, which has the amazing tagline, a game of ice and dice. Now, please first of all introduce yourself, Martin, and then we'll find out a bit about the game. Thank you, Oliver, for having me. Uh, Running Rhino Games is our publishing studio. We are a very small indie games studio. And my name is Martin, and so far I've been doing most of the designs from the studio. Um, but this time it's a, it's a design from another designer and I'll be uh, publishing it. So what grabbed you most and drew you to Arctic Roll? So Ian Brocklebank is the original designer of the game and when he first showed it to me I was immediately hooked by the game. Uh, mainly because the game has a lot of interaction. So I'll show you here, this is uh, what the game sheet looks like. And all players will be playing on the same board. So in a lot of roll and rides, you play your own little puzzle, which is fun, uh, but this game is uh, a combined puzzle and there's a lot of player interaction, which I think is very unique in this roll and ride genre of games. Interaction in a roll and ride is fairly uncommon, so that's quite a unique sort of twist there. Now, I believe the game has sort of area majority slash control. Could you sort of tell us how that sort of works? Yeah, area majority is the or area control is the main uh, mechanism in this game. Um, basically, the game consists of two phases. So this is your player board. You would be rolling the dice, playing, it's placing them on the top, um, and each die would be assigned with a bonus, and one die would be shared. So all players would use it. Then uh, you all pick a dice and a bonus. If you have the lowest number, you go first. So there's a benefit to going to going first, of course. Uh, but a higher dice might be more valuable as well. And then in the second phase, you will place those dice. And the dice, um, for instance, uh, on the top here, you can see this is a, what a five would look like. So a hole in the middle and four hunters adjacent. So uneven numbers would give you a hole and hunters would be uh, adjacent. So and over here, you see the number three. So you can use the number for movement, as you see with the dotted lines, or can use them to place hunters and of course you can use your bonuses and of course by placing hunters you basically mark off your area you score points from hunters adjacent to holes uh, but also adjacent to lakes with fish so there's many uh, ways to score points uh, but it's also a way of blocking off the area and other people can't uh, come in there and there's also special spots that score bonus points if you place a hole exactly there You've previously designed your own games. How did you find sort of stepping back and actually being the publisher on Arctic Roll? Yeah, it was a really fun challenge to swap seats, um, but also challenging. Uh, when you design a game on your own, you know the game uh, inside out. And you've also tried all kinds of things uh, until you get to a point where you feel the game is good. Uh, and basically, that's the point where a publisher or developer comes in. Uh, so as a developer, you have to really try hard to uh, get into the mindset of the designer and uh, get into the not only the vibe, just the, the full um, uh, complexity of the game and live the mechanics just as if you are the designer. So there, there's some effort there. Uh, on the other hand, it's, uh, you, you have like a solid base to work on and you can just provide feedback and um, decide what kind of... Uh, changes need to be made to further improve the game, but you already have a solid game to work with. The company Rolling Rhino Games is all about print and play. What is it that sort of draws you to that style of board game? I really love the accessibility that print and play games offer. So it's just so easy and simple to get it to the table. Also very low price points. Um, you can just, for a couple of bucks, you can just try it out and see if the game is something you like. Um, and from a design perspective, I really like the challenge. So you're very limited. We limit ourselves to just a single page. So there's no cutting, so I cannot use any cards. I mean, I like card games, but for this uh, type of games, um, we are very limited. So there's a, lot of, there's a big challenge like, uh, to see what you can do with just a single page, maybe a couple of dice or a few tokens and a pencil. And, and that's where we limit ourselves. Um, and limits uh, of the result in creative uh, products. When can people expect to see Arctic Roll on Kickstarter and where can they go to find out a little bit more about the game? Arctic Roll will launch on the 20th of February in 2024. 
Um, we'll put a link in the description so you can check out the Kickstarter page if you want to learn more. For a bit of fun, what game would you say has the best meeple in it? For me, the best meeple would be Carcassonne. I mean, it's the it's the OG of meeples and I have them stickered. So they're all knights and uh, peasants and uh, other characters. So, I mean, they're the best. That's an amazing choice. I'm kind of surprised no one's picked the OG Meeple before now. So thanks, Martin, for coming on, answering the questions today. And the link that was mentioned earlier to the Kickstarter, that's going to be in the description box downstairs. So go click that, find out more. And well, until next time, have an Arctic Roll filled good day.